everyone Nyan here and in today's video we are going to know how to create a bamboo scan app in Nungu. Uh, so with no time to do let's get started and let's see the demo of the app okay so it is going to be uh, this one bamboo scanner i'm going to record it in my tab as you can know that um whether i'm doing it correctly or not actually so uh i'm going to stop apaha's the presentation here okay so as you can see i'm i'm in my tab and here i have few apps where there is comfortable live and here in this comfortable live i'm going to uh yeah it already opened actually you know okay at here there's a thing called a like a component called button okay i didn't rename it as it's a demo you know so that um so now what i'm going to do is uh, uh take a photo of this that, that means I'm going to scan this QR um, on my computer. I'm going to show the QR while I am doing it. I made this QR for my dad, actually. See, that's the QR. Okay, so it opened a, a website. This was it. And I made it using Wix. And it's a very good website. Well, Wix is a very, very good website. I made many websites using this Wix only. And Webly. And... Uh, uh, what it's called web flow so uh, this is the app demo and now let's see how to create the app okay so as you saw the app demo let's get started with the oh why it's not going up let's get started building the app um i'm going to delete okay what is this why it is coming down like that? No. Okay, okay, uh -huh. Okay, so that's my tab. I can print on the keyboard too. Actually, it's handsome. <laughs> and right here, this barcode scan, I'm going to delete that as you know, it's not useful right now. I'm making another barcode scanner. Why it's useful, say me that. So here, I clicked on new project. And that I'm going to make a new project which was called a barcode or uh, R coder to barcoder. Okay, so all of like barcoder. So uh, that's the app name. Okay, and I'm going to keep for business, developer tools, education, retirement, and finance, uh, anything else. Okay, finance, food and drink. And much more final food and drink books. <coughs> so the mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to now create the app. So that's it enough. And this was this green one which has made the green as well and here we are going to make the magic map which we need to so what's this magic actually it's too too small okay first that's the component and i'm going to show you the magic map so it's a uh, a label and then it's called a button so i'm going to change the name of the button to scan Okay, like this, and I'm going to change the color to completely white and the text color to completely black. So, as you can see, there's nothing to um, like have that. It's too white and it's cool. That's what I need. And now, what I'm going to do is make the border radius like it should be good. The app should look good. That's the thing why I'm making this app square to get money up with it. And uh let's see where is it border radius yeah it says border radius is 75 but i'm going to make it to uh a zero <coughs> so as you can see its corners are now square shape if you keep two then it could be like something like it's not good for me so i like this one i'm going to get this one and i'm going to like 
make the font size to 10. So it becomes big automatically. Why? Um, as because it's it was set to fit contents as you can see here, fit contents and fit contents, whatever you want it. Or you know, the width should be fit container, and this should be like height should be a relative size like a. Uh, 17 I think no. that's good. then that's that's good actually you know that's somewhat better for it to stay on and if it is completely white work will be the fun so we're going to make the background color too it's somewhat like a dark color somewhat like that and that's it that's the thing which we want to make here and then uh, in the label we are going to make a small change which was to make the text to nothing and make the size to a 25 like thing and number of lines should be uh, one or two as you wish and the line height should be a two let's get two okay and the color should be black as usually so this was the thing which we're going to make here now let's add the invisible component which was image recognizer recognizer which was here and i'm going to drag and i'm going to keep it in drag and drop builder that my uh, sorry invisible components area okay uh so um after this was completed let's do the magic of coding so I'm going to go to blocks. Okay, it open. And here it's the very important thing. You need the image recognizer once. Call image recognizer one. Upload. And then here, as you can see, there's image, which was what we have to know that. Okay, it's image recognizer one. Oh no, I'm, I'm very sorry. So, okay, so it should be barcode scanner actually, you know. So, it will work. Oh no. So, it should be barcode scanner. Let's keep it here. Ding, ding, ding. blocks here and here what I'm going to keep is the barcode scan I'm going to open it and call barcode scanner scan and go to button one and button one here so when button one click the barcode scanner once scan function that means scan method will apply to it so when it applies it says some value but we don't know that value actually it should come on the screen right so we add the label one let's take label one set label one text to the value which was the function there or the variable let's see okay as i explained in the last video it's the same thing now we what we had to do was open a web page like wait for a second and open a web page as the user had to know what was the url of this thing so it's and sometimes it waits in my you know at a barcode scanner app in my time so just let's make it wait there so we are going to go to controls and it says wait one second let's drag and drop it here and here it should be six like that. that's okay and then um uh, in control only let's drag down there and then it says open link on error okay so in the open link let's keep the function value and on error let's take label one text two and please try again there is an error like that 
anti two exclamatory marks. So you can drag and drop the arrow right here. As if there is any error, it just saves an error. But if you keep like this, please uh, try again. It will they will try again and not leave the app at all. Okay. So this is the thing which I want to do. So uh, this was the app which we have to create today. And let's again test it whether it's working or not. As for like it should be.